you have to start by creating a new project, a new .NET class library project for .NET framework. So you have to search for a class library and choose the .NET framework one. Okay, now you have to specify your project name. I'm gonna call my project Kids Plugin. And you also need to choose the framework version. And it has to be .NET Framework 4.6.1. So make sure you got it selected here. So now you can create it. And you got an empty project. So you have to start by adding the unturned dependencies to your project. So you need to find the unturned libraries. Also Unity and Rocket Wells. So they are all in the racket, in the unturned directory, so so go there. And you can get the unturned and unity libraries from unturned data managed. You get unturned from here. These two assembly C sharp and assembly C sharp first pass. You copy them. You go to the project folder. Make a new folder here called libraries. Put your unturned libraries here. Then you want to search for Unity libraries, so Unity Engine and Unity Engine Core Module. That's all you need for a Rocket plugin. And you also need a Rocket libraries, so you get them in the extras folder in the rocket that I'm turned and you get these three libraries here, three projects. You add them here. And now we get all our dependencies in the libraries folder. So now we have to add them. We have to reference them. So we add a reference. Open and I have to open the project folder and we've got the libraries folder here. And we have to add all of these libraries to our project and press OK. So we get our libraries for Rocket, Unity, and Unturned. So we can start making plugin by uh, making a Rocket plugin base class. So I'm going to call it Kids Plugin. It doesn't matter how you call it. But it has to inherit from Rocket plugin, so we have an inheritance for Rocket plugin. And we have to add a using for Rocket core plugins. And now we get our kids plugin. So now we can start off by adding a log message when our plugin is loaded. So. I'm going to override the load method for Rocket plugin. And here I'm going to add the log message using Rocket Logger, which is going to log it to rocket.log file and also to console. Logger.log. And I add our message here. I'm going to make it name. So it's going to return the plugin name. So kids plugin. And I'm going to get a version of assembly and display it too. And I'm going to say it has been loaded. And now I'm also going to add a log message for unload. So when the plugin is unloaded, I'm going to add a log message name has been unloaded. Okay. And what else we can make? We can add a configuration to our plugin now. We have to make a new class here. And we're going to call it Kids Plugin Configuration. It has to be a public class. And we have to in in implement interface iRocket Plugin Configuration. We have to add using for rocket.api and now we can implement interface by pressing here and 
plus interfa implement interface. We have to remove this exception here. And we're gonna make a sample configuration field properly. It's gonna be a load message. And I, I, I can set the default value for it. From here, I can say load message equals this is kids plugin. Okay, and now I can use this configuration in my plugin if I add a parameter type parameter to my rocket plugin like this, and I have to type in the type name so kids plugin configuration. Okay, and now once it's down, I can I've got a configuration property here. I can use it now. So I can use configuration dot instance dot load message. And to print it to and to log it, I'm gonna also log it and have logger log load message like this. Okay. And now I'm gonna build my project. But before I do this, I'm first gonna rename this class one to my kids plugin. Okay, now I can build it. It says be build started. Now it's gonna be. I have to go to my project directory, and bin debug, and I have a kids plugin here, kids plugin dlo. So I. I'm gonna try it on my server. So I'm gonna sign into my panel. Go to file manager. Go to the racket folder, plugins, and drop my plugin here. And now I get a plugin installed. So now I'm gonna restart my server. So as you can see, it says that this kids plugin, this is kids plugin message is locked to console. It's this one. And it also says the kids plugin 1.0.0 has been loaded. So it says the version of my plugin and its name. It's this message. And the version you can can change it always from here in assembly info you can change it to different version and also uh, if I type here rocket unload kids plugin it's gonna unload the plugin and it says kids plugin has been unloaded so yeah that's it